Hello everyone, it's Alice and welcome to what is going to be a very chill, relaxed reading vlog. So I just feel like I need a chill, relaxed day and all I want to do today really is just like read. I'm in a really good reading mood right now and I've been like in a good reading mood for the past like week and I feel like I mean, I always enjoy reading, but right now it's like all I want to do. So I'm gonna spend the day mostly just reading. It is a beautiful day out, so I might go for a walk later, but it looks very, very windy. <laughs> so we'll see if I get around to doing that, but I might do that. And then I want to do a little bit of baking. I want to make some blueberry muffins. And I found a recipe with like cinnamon crunch on top. So I'm gonna make that and maybe we should just start with that, actually. So let me tell you what I'm reading today. I have two books that I have started and I'm hoping to finish one of them today. And then I also want to read a graphic novel today. So there will be lots of reading, I'm hoping. One of the books that I'm hoping to finish today is this. This is Chapter and Curse, which is a cozy mystery book. And I am like pretty far into this, so I don't have a lot left. And it's a very, very quick read. So I have about, 100 pages left but I feel like it's not gonna take me very long. I'm gonna try to save my thoughts on this until I've finished it and then we can discuss but I can tell you what it's about. It's about this librarian who moves from Vermont. Is it Vermont? I think so. She moves from America, pretty sure it's Vermont, to Cambridge, England to take over the family bookshop and the mystery in this book is about like they have a poetry reading at this bookshop it's like one of the oldest bookshops in cambridge and one person is like murdered during the poetry reading that's the mystery but the book is just as much about this family and this main character and her trying to find a new life in cambridge obviously moving across the world is a pretty big deal so it's about that, it's about getting this bookshop up and running, and then there's this murder. I am enjoying this, but I do have some thoughts on it, so I'll finish this and we'll discuss later in the vlog. I'm also currently reading this book, finally. This is The Sister Who Ate Her Brothers, which is a short story collection, which is obviously very appropriate for October. I don't think I'm gonna finish this today. I actually don't want to. I want to spread this out all over October and just read a story here and there. All of these stories are like retellings of fairy tales. They're illustrated and it's like it's retelling of stories but they're also closer to the originals than a lot of our current fairy tales, I think, but then they have a little bit of a contemporary twist, which I am enjoying. They're quite short, all of them, and I really, really like it so far. The stories are short, they're creepy, and yeah. My next one is actually one from Norway. This is The Boy Who Tricked a Troll, and I feel like maybe, oh yeah. I know exactly what the story is actually because I grew up with the story so it'll be interesting to see 
it retold. I feel like this is one of the Oskilobn stories. Although maybe I'm wrong. It is very short though, it's literally just three pages. But I am gonna read that today and maybe one more. The one after that is The Daughter Who Loved a Skeleton from Nigeria. Which sounds very interesting. Now it may seem ambitious, but I do want to read another book today. And I'm gonna read it all in one go and it's gonna be great. It's Garlic and the Witch by Brie Paulson. And you may know that I read and loved Garlic and the Vampire last year. And I read it on a day where I felt like I really needed it. And I feel like I also need this kind of book today because I've had quite the week. So I'm gonna read this today and I'm very excited. I'm sure I'm gonna love it. I have a feeling, like I think the first book is just always gonna be my favorite, but I am sure I'm gonna enjoy this and I don't know what's gonna happen in this. I feel like I've read that our main character has a little bit of a transformation, which I'm intrigued by. But I love the art in this. I love how garlic is drawn. And I love just the color palette. And this is gonna be amazing. It does say on the back here that she might be turning into a human. And I wonder what garlic is gonna look like in human form if she turns into it. I'm gonna try not to look at it, but that'll be very interesting. I think she's gonna be super cute. So I've got a lot of reading to do today, so I should probably just get started on that. I'm gonna, I think I might try to finish this first actually, and then we can talk about it. And then I'm also gonna eat some of those uh, blueberry muffins that I made, which were delicious. I've already eaten two. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about this book. I finished it, it was pretty quick to finish, and this was overall a very quick read. And it's interesting because I feel like I've read quite a lot of cozy mystery books, like I love cozy mysteries, but this is more classic cozy mystery than maybe I'm used to. I think that this is more like the traditional cozy mystery and I haven't read a lot of these kinds of books and it's like it is a little bit different than a lot of other cozy mysteries that I have read. I can think of a couple that are kind of like this that I've read but I actually haven't gotten on with them very well and out of the ones that I've read this is the one that I've liked the most. It is like when I started this and I was like 50 pages in. It felt very much like immediately like a 3 out of 5 star book for me and I still feel that way like that's what it is to me. And the thing is the book is doing exactly what it told me it was gonna do but I think that a lot of the cozy mystery books that I've read have a little bit more depth to them than this and this is very much it very much leans into that like cozy part and the mystery is a big part of the story, but there is also a lot of other stuff going on and the mystery isn't like super engaging, really. That being said, I flew through this and this is one of those books where the enjoyment level of it is quite high, but like it's not <laughs> a super impressive book, I don't think. It's very... like it is pretty predictable, the characters are a little bit stereotypical and it's a little obvious, I would say, probably. And I do think that there are some things that, like I think that they, <laughs> the fact that they move to England, like especially our main character, her mother moves with her and she is from England, but our main character has never been there and she doesn't even know her English family. There's a lot of like people she doesn't even know exist. And I think that she gets used to living there, like, way too quickly. And I think, I don't know if this is written for an American audience, because when she gets to England, she'll come across these very British things, 
and she like the book will very clearly explain to you what the thing is and what it like the equivalent is in America and for me it's unnecessary to explain that because I already know so I don't know if this was written for an American audience but to me there were some things where I was just a little bit like you don't really need to explain this let's just let's just get into it <laughs> I also think like the main character has a love interest it's very clear from the beginning that that's gonna happen and yeah, it's just like the word that I would use is enjoyable but obvious. Like that's the phrase I would use to describe this book. Enjoyable though, and I think I'm gonna keep going with the series actually because I feel like now that I know what the series is, I will know when I'm in the mood to pick up this kind of book. But I have read other cozy mysteries that I maybe find a little bit more impressive and I think that this very much leans into that like cozy part of it and I think a lot of the cozy mysteries that I've read and loved have some like darker elements to them that I am just really drawn to and I like a little bit of that like darkness I guess. I do really like the setting though like I like the setting of Cambridge and I like that although they're in this city it has like small town vibes to it I really like that and then it's hard to describe what separates this from other cozy mysteries like I think for instance one of my favorite cozy mystery series is the Thursday Murder Club I think that those are also super cozy and there's some like stereotypical things that you find in cozy mysteries in that book but I do think that that goes a little bit deeper I think the characters have a little bit more backstory and I think the thing that makes them so good to me is that I feel like those books actually have quite a lot of tension in them whereas this there wasn't that much tension it was just like very cozy and very very light I do find it a little bit difficult to talk about these kinds of books though because I did really enjoy it and I'm gonna keep going with the series and I think that maybe I just didn't quite know what to expect from this which is weird because it is a very traditional cozy mystery like it follows a lot of those tropes and I think that I just want to get the point across that it is a little bit different than the other cozy mysteries that I enjoy and if you're gonna read this based on the fact that I liked it I just want you to know <laughs> that it's not entirely the same. It is lighter, it doesn't have as many deep and dark themes, and it's very... it's just very traditional cozy mystery. This, just like I expected, was delightful. Really, really enjoyed this. Really glad I read it today. Felt like I really needed this book and it's just super cute. The story is a little bit different than the first one, but I quite liked how it all ended up. And our main character goes on a little bit of adventure. She goes with her vampire friend and I don't know. The only thing I can really say about these books is that they're super cute, very heartwarming, very light in a lot of ways, but just so sweet. I did give the first book, Garlic and the Vampire, five stars, and I think this I'm gonna give four stars. I think I had a very particular reading experience with the first one, and I do think that the first one is just like a little bit better, I guess, but they're both good, and if you like the first one, you're gonna like this one. Really glad I read it today though and I do think like based on how this ends I'm guessing this isn't like gonna have any more books in the series which makes me a little sad 
but I also kind of get it. But I should check out more of Brie Paulson's work, maybe. Maybe I can find some more graphic novels to read. I did also read a couple of stories in this, which of course they were great. I really like the Norwegian one. It's one I'm very, very familiar with. And I'm really enjoying this because there are stories that I'm kind of familiar with, there are stories that I know, but then there's also stories that I have never read before, which is super cool. And I feel like the art works really well with this. I think, I thought maybe that I would find the art more juvenile than I am finding it. Like, I feel like it fits really well and I'm very much enjoying it. And I think that this is just, it's a beautiful book and it's, a treat to get to read. I am gonna stop myself from reading more in this today though because I do want to spread it out during October and I guess that means that I need to find another book to read but I guess this is a good place to end the vlog. It isn't quite evening yet but the sun is gonna set in a little while and it does look like the wind has died down so maybe I should go for that walk. I should probably get out of the house at least once today. And then when I get back I guess I should pick another book to read. I'm kind of in like a witchy mood so I think I'm gonna pick a witch book. And yeah, my reading is going so well right now. I feel like I'm jinxing it but it's going really really well and I feel like I'm reading at the pace where like I used to read so much and I do read a lot now but before I used to read like all the time and now I'm in that kind of mood again and it's so much fun and I just need to not find a book that's gonna put me in a reading slump so I feel like a witch book like a lighter one would be good but I also do kind of want to read something dark so we'll see that is gonna be it for this vlog though I hope you enjoyed it I would love to know if you've read any of the books that I read in this I should show you the third book as well, but it's like over there. I'm not gonna go get it, but you know what I wrote for this vlog if you made it this far. I would love to hear what you thought of the books that I've read, if you've read them or if you want to read them, or you could just tell me about what books you're reading for October, because that's very exciting. I feel like this is one of my favorite months. It's like September and October. It's like my time of year, I feel, and it's great, and yeah. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you soon. Bye!